Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks and for today's quick tip, I'll be showing you how I create this wiggle effect on my animations. Sometimes when you're working with vector files, your lines can look a little bit too smooth, almost like they're computer generated. So I like to use this effect just to give my animations just a little bit more of a natural feel, almost like they were an old school frame by frame animation. So here in After Effects, I have my animation already completed. It looks good. It's nice and smooth, but I want it to have just a little bit more of a natural feel to it. So we're going to give it the, the old wiggle effect. So what we need to do is make a new composition. We'll name this one final. We can make the duration five seconds because that's the length of our loop. So once we have our final composition set up, we just drag our loop into the composition. And what we need to do next is go up to layer, new solid. And the color doesn't matter, the name doesn't really matter either. As long as the size is the same as the composition, we're all good. So we'll just hit OK on that. And then what we need to do next is go up to your effects and type in fractal noise. And we can drag that onto your solid layer. And we go over to evolution options, click that arrow, random seed, and we're gonna option or alt click on that and type in time asterisk 10 and then click back on that layer and we can close that up now we're going to pre-comp the solid layer so right click on that go to pre-compose and we can name this one wiggle and make sure this is clicked this is important that move all attributes into the new composition is selected so hit that and then hit ok and then the next step is going up to layer again and we're going to create an adjustment layer. So we can move the adjustment layer underneath the wiggle layer and we'll add a new effect to that adjustment layer. We're gonna add the displacement map. So displacement map onto the adjustment layer and then we need to select the wiggle. So now let's hide the wiggle layer and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think it has a little bit too much wiggle to it. So what we can do to adjust that is go up to your displacement map settings and change these numbers to be a little bit lower. So we'll change three and three for the vertical displacement and the horizontal displacement. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so that looks a lot better now that it's a little bit more subtle and not so in your face. One thing that I will mention for this effect is if you have a background on your animation, sometimes the border of the animation will have a little bit of a glitch. So I'll show you how to fix that. I'm gonna add in this gradient for my background. And you'll see without the wiggle effect on, everything looks good. But as soon as we add the wiggle effect, we get this white glitch going on around the border of the animation. So there's two ways to fix that. You can either raise the scale of the background so that it's larger than the composition, and that'll fix it. Or if you want to just shrink the size of the adjustment layer, that works as well. So just shrink it down to 99 and that cuts out that border too. So. so that's it for today's quick tip. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.